I was seven years old, I went with it on a trip with my mom to McDonald's. And I had heard in Sunday school that morning about Jesus and about him dying on the cross for our sins. And at the age of seven, I realized that I had never really made that decision. So under the golden arches, I prayed a prayer with my mom in the car. And as a result, I came to faith. And now one day I can go into the heavenly arches of the kingdom because of that decision that I made. Later on that year, I also launched my first business, and it was the handshaking business. And I would get this little buzzer that came in a box of cereal, and you would wind it up, and if I shook my classmates' hand in class, they'd get buzzed. And so they thought it was the coolest thing because no one had anything like that. So my little mind, the way it worked was, I thought, I could make money this way. So at the age of seven, I started charging for handshakes. And I charged the girls five cents, but I charged the boys 15 cents because I didn't want to have to touch a boy's hand. And within two weeks, I earned ten dollars. And my mom explained to me, my mother was from Spain, and she explained, Oh, this is Eli. In the Bible, it tells us that one of those dollars belongs to the Lord. It's the Lord's tithe. So you need to take a dollar, and you need to take it to Sunday school, and you need to give that back to the Lord. And so I did that. And something amazing happened. There was a transformation that happened. I can still picture the room and what it was like when I took that dollar and the offering plate went around in Mrs. Cooperman's class and they put in their nickels and their dimes, my classmates, my friends did. I took my dollar and I put it in that offering plate and in my mind, I imagined the children in Africa that that dollar was gonna feed because that was what the offering was for. And one thing happened at that moment, and that was I realized that the sweetest dollar that I could ever make was the one that I could give away. And that is the power of the time. I started at a young age, and when Bob and I first got married, we had 40000 in consumer debt. And it was very difficult. We didn't have money for groceries one week. It was embarrassing at times. But we paid the tithe. And within two and a half years, we were completely debt-free because God honors those who honor Him. And throughout the years, we've been tempted to, well, maybe we shouldn't tithe 10%, maybe we don't need to give here and there, but we've had the philosophy that you cannot outgive God. And so throughout all of those years, we've recovered financially, and God has blessed us in so many ways. I mean, how else do you call it when seven kids can go through college and we have no student loan debt? When they learn, about how to give, and another generation now is giving as well. So one of the things that I would like to encourage people to do is to reevaluate their finances from a biblical perspective. And you may say, I can't afford to tithe. And my answer is, I couldn't afford not to tithe because God honored it in such a mighty and powerful way.